get um, joystick display going. Studio. Mm, need to move the camera a little bit. What the fact? The fact that I've got my desk set up differently. Ooh, this is some really bad heavy metal. Miracle of sound, surprise, surprise. Go away, Miracle of Sound. Okay. Um we alright. Got my joystick display. I need to go update up an open tracker. Let's do that real quick. Okay, on the bookmarks. Let's get that going. All right, that's good. Let's get open tracker running. Oof, what are you doing over there, Open Tracker? Come on. And. Oh, that's the problem right there. There we go. That's all set. Close that up. Let's generate a ROM. Ooh, just forgot that I had that already made. Um, let's just do a default run. That's fine. Menu speed, that's fine. Heart color red, that's fine. Play as. Of course we're going to play as Bunny Link. Come on. What else would we play as? Super Bunny. Heart speed. Quarter speed. Save that right there. And I'll keep that around in case we decide to kill this one and I have to look at spoilers, but I don't think that'll happen. Um, we I'm gonna go ahead and open up this map just in case I need it. It's pretty rare that I need it, but I don't want to have to pull it up later if I need it. Okay. Got that open. Got that open. That's all ready to go. Um, let's grab Retro Arch. Content. Okay, well, let's kill Pretzel. Hopefully everyone's doing well tonight. Anyone that happens to be watching at least. Um, we're going to kill a couple of things over here. But I just don't need open anymore. Volume control is probably fine. I'll leave that up for just a minute more. Um, 
Go like that. Go like that. Okay. So there we go. Let's get this on the correct screen, at least. And turn this off. Minimize that down. Let's move this over here so I can see my time as we go. I like to be able to see the time. All right. And transition. So yeah, that my last run was 50 minutes. It obviously wasn't a completed run, but um, yeah, I'm going to turn the in-game volume down just a little bit. So it doesn't overpower me too bad. So you just can hear it, but it's not going to be way louder than I am. In fact, I should be way louder than it is, hopefully. Um, but as soon as we start, this will actually um, very rapidly switch itself over to being the correct time. Oof. Come on. There we go. All right. And we're going to go ahead and start in three, two, one, go. Cape, early game cape, interesting. Why, what is going on here? Okay, hold on. We gotta fix this. So we're gonna let this go for like five or six seconds. All right, there we go. Now we can keep, now we can resume. Okay, so we're gonna start by going over and seeing Hyrule Castle. I was playing this earlier on, um, not this particular ROM obviously, because I just generated this one, but I was playing this earlier on my laptop and it's nice to play this on a much bigger screen that's brighter. Um, Definitely a little higher quality than my laptop speaker since I'm using a nice headset here. Ooh, I want that bomb. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it! So, tier one from the tree gives you magic. Probably not going to pull that tree again. Maybe we'll figure out what tier two is here in just a second. We're lucky. Ooh. My monitor over here is a little dark. Let's bump up the brightness just a tad bit. Maybe the black equalizer actually. That might be better. Let's see, is that a little bit better? Yeah, I can actually see the floor now. It's still a little dark, but it's not too bad. It's possible to be viewed. Okay, so that didn't really give me anything useful. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and save and quit and head over to Sanctuary. Um, Sanctuary is just seems like a good place to go for this. Um, ooh, looks like moving my light since last time I did this when I rearranged my desk has definitely created less glare on my glasses, so that's nice. Um, okay, lamp. All right, so we can go ahead and close that screen. I like to open up the dark maps in case I end up needing them for sequence breaks, but I've got a lamp, so that's not going to happen. Um, I have four bombs, so that's pretty much enough for uh, getting through Kakariko Village. We'll be doing that. But we'll come up here first and check out what is going on at Lumberjacks. Ooh, let you hit me. And what this guy generates also. Bombs, okay. Bondful. There's no reason to grab more. It's already hit more. Alright, so I'm in good shape. Those guys drop bombs too. That's good to know. There's a couple places that that might be a tiny bit relevant. Okay. 
Let's jump. Early game cape and lamp. Ooh, this this is kind of starting to reek of being an Agaseed. Really, the only thing I need for this to complete being an Agaseed is a weapon, like a sword, or a weapon, and a... Interesting. Okay. This is feeling very similar to the seed I did earlier today, except for the fact that... I mean, I guess it's not, because I got... I got cape and I got, um... Lamp just now, and I didn't have either one of those in the time I was playing earlier. But there's a couple things that have been in the same spots, and it's a little annoying. Come on, like, I'm gonna let you hit me. I'll let your buddy hit me. Whee! that bomb I've got plenty of bombs I've got 10 bombs I'm in good shape on bombs um, I forgot to check to see I don't remember what I got at um, sanctuary so that's annoying as far as keeping track of how many things there are in Hyrule Castle is that where I got the lamp I think that's where I got the lamp so we're gonna go ahead and decrement that one Oh yeah, getting some rupees. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll have enough by the time we get to the bottle merchant to actually buy it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. And up this way. I got a message. Or a message. Nothing important right now. Just one of my gaming groups. Alrighty. Moon Pearl. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> If I got a sword right now, I'd probably go straight to Aga. Come on. I don't have a sword yet, so there's not any reason to try. just kicked on. Let's turn that back off because I'm opening up the house. I will be right back while I open up the house. Yeah? Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So it's kind of crazy to think that school is going to be back in in just over a month, assuming we're in person schooling. Um, I mean, I have mixed feelings about that, like I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, I'd really like to be able to be in person schooling if we can safely. Um, as a teacher, I feel like it's 
I'm more much more effective in person. And I feel like the students really like to be in person. But at the same time, um, if it's not safe, I don't think we should do it, you know? Um, but assuming we're in person, school's in. If we're not in person, I'm sure there'll still be some kind of schooling happening here. But if we're not going to be in person, I think I'm probably going to be doing a lot of my Zoom meetings from my streaming rig this year instead of last year doing a lot from my laptop. Just because, like, looking at my setup here, um, I'm a lot happier with where my webcam is and the audio I get from this microphone and stuff. Um, I feel like I'm set up to be quite a bit nicer. Even though, like, I haven't bought any new equipment, I'm just, like, set up in a much more convenient way. The only thing I'll have to figure out is... Um, <clears throat> Last year I was using a uh, webcam on a boom arm on my desk to do like uh, like a digital whiteboard or you know analog digital whiteboard, and clearly I'll need to do something like that again. But I don't have that boom arm set up anymore, so I'll because um, I was using my microphone boom boom arm for that. Like I was doing double duty, but I can't use it for a microphone boom arm and a webcam boom arm at the same time. So I'll have to, I don't know, get a second boom arm or get an actual dock cam or something. Um, rig something up, you know? Uh, well, I don't have 10 bombs anymore, so I guess I'll pick those up. 10 bombs, nine bombs. Hopefully I can do it in eight. We're gonna go and try to do mini Moldorm Cave, killing them with bombs which is something that I'm not particularly good at, but maybe we'll get lucky. Come on. One time my first sword that I was like the only sword I had access to at all was in here and all I could and I didn't have hammer and all I had was bombs and I had to practice it. Like it took me like three or four tries. Hook shot. Nice. Okay. This now feels like a very different seat than the one I was playing earlier. <laughs> Hook shot's one of my favorite items in this game. Lots of iframes. Stuns a lot of enemies. Things it doesn't stun, oftentimes it just outright kills. It's just all around a good weapon. Oh no, the bee's coming right for me. I'm a bee, I'm a bee. Ah, I hate the black eyed peas. See, now I've got that stuck in my head. I think that was a Black Eyed Peas song. Those guys are scary. They, um, not the Black Eyed Peas, but those crabs. They do like two hearts of damage. <laughs> it's absurd. All right. So real talk. Boomerang. Probably best to go do, um, See, I don't have a weapon. This is tough. I think I go do Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle. Oh, see, I don't know if this will kill. I don't know if this will kill. Um, the things I needed to kill there. So there's not that many things I have to kill in in Eastern, so maybe we go Eastern, I guess. Let's try Eastern. Maybe there'll be a weapon there. I 
I mean, I could always fake flip her. I have Moon Pearl. But I don't have enough... I don't have enough... Um, rupees. To pay for the... Um, pay for Zora. So if I had enough rupees for Zora, I would go fake flip her. And sequence break that. But... Just because it's really nice to have a weapon. <laughs> I only have two bombs. That's really my only actual weapon right now. We're in Green Pendant and Thief's Town, and I'll give you something. Okay, so Thief's Town is a Green Pendant. Some rupees, heart piece, and rupees. Stole that old man's savings. Why did I pick that name? Um, I picked that name because it looks a tiny bit like a rabbit to me, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's really the only reason I picked that one. I don't read or speak Japanese, like, at all. Um, I mean, I'm sure, sure I could go look up, like whatever that hiragana or katakana is and once upon a time i probably could have told you since i did take a semester of it in college many many years ago but uh, the only relevance to me is that it looks vaguely like the profile of a rabbit so that's why i picked it <laughs> it's the one i always pick all right i've got one bomb and i've got hookshot let's see how much damage i can do these guys drop bombs nope okay Maybe we'll get some bombs in, in here somewhere. But hopefully, you know, even better would be like a sword, or even better than that would be bow. Um. Yeah. Compass. There's something I didn't want to see. Shh. Quite tricky cat. Probably can't hear my cat yowling, but my 15 year old cat is laying on the bed. She's laying on the bed yowling at me. She's not even like standing up staring at me and yowling. She's just like, yep, I'm gonna be lazy and lay here on the bed and yell at you. I didn't see what I just got. Well, whatever it was, it was one of my dungeon items. And it was not a unique item. All right, so we're about to see how badly I mess up uh, the speedrun tactic in the next room. It's been a while since I've actually pulled it off properly. Well, that's the most I've messed up on it in a long time, so we're going to grab those blue rupees, though, because we really... I'll go ahead and sequence break if I get to um, 500, if I don't have a weapon yet. Since I can water walk and weak item requires the shovel. Okay. So there's something in Grove. There's the map. The boss has an item in the seed. Now, I do have a lamp, so I don't have to do this one in the dark, fortunately. I wanted that heart, not full health. And since I don't have a weapon... Alright, we get one more chest that we can check. So we're going to get one more item in here, and that's it. And then we're going to be coming back, unless it's bow. If it's bow and arrow, I think... I can probably clear this, but if it's not bow, we're just going to have to leave and come back. Heart piece. Okay. So we're going to leave one piece in Eastern and save and quit. And then we're going to go do Hyrule Castle. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's head over to Hyrule. 
because Hyrule is what it's all about. And that's where my largest item density is. Now that I have a hook shot, I, um, it won't be actually terrible in there since I can stun and then use bombs. But I need some bombs first, don't I? Hmm. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and pull this um, tree up here, see if it gives bombs, and if not, we'll save and quit and go buy some in Kakariko. Because I am going to need some bombs. All right. <sighs> normally, you're, like, swimming in bombs by this point in the game, but I guess normally... I don't have to uh, use them as my primary weapon <laughs> for this long. I'll get like a hammer or something. Um, all right, so let's go buy some bombs. Get some bombs, and then we're going to go uh, do... I mean, I guess I could check Agina, but it's kind of out of the way for one check. All right, so let's head over and um, there's definitely more checks in Hyrule than there are We'll just walk. Um, no, we'll, we'll, we'll sit and quit. That's a little faster. Um, there's definitely more checks in Hyrule Castle that I can do. Um, so I think that's my highest item density. Um, I mean, obviously, Agina I can check without having to do any bomb shenanigans, but... With bombs, I should be able to... 10 bombs should be enough to get me through Hyrule Castle, at least. And through Escape. I guess since it's open mode, I could go do the back half of Escape first if I needed to, but... Meh. I was good at this game I would have been able to put two bombs down and kill them that way but I'm not actually good at this game <laughs> I've got routing down okay ish but my execution is not great go ahead and get this heart here because why not maybe this guy will drop something useful no no good drops all right we're gonna come over here and I'll do this speed run tactic yay just go around these guys and then we'll switch back to Hookshot. So we can Hookshot that guy. And then we'll come over here and Hookshot this guy. There you go. Enjoy your free bomb. Let's buy one, get one free. First one's free. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I only have to kill one more enemy in the bottom of escape, and then I can go to the sewers. In sewers, I think I only have to kill one guy and then have to have one bomb spare. And I might be able to kill the guy in sewers um, with hookshot since it's just a rat. But we'll save our bombs since we had to pay so many, so many rupees for them. All right, I got both both boomerangs. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Hmm. 
I just realized that I do not do not have mouse capture turned off for that. I remember to do that before next time. Okay, I've got two bombs to spare. Two bombs to spare at most. Um, means I can kill one more guy if I have to, besides like what I'm supposed to kill. Ugh, I need to stop shaking my leg, it's making the camera shake, sorry. That's better. Okay. Ow! Jerk. Stay back there. Ow! That guy wasn't trying to hit me though. He just walks in random directions. Alright, and up this way. Up this way. Up this way. In here. Alright. Pretty sure this kills snakes. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Bombs? Bombs? I've got bombs. Those guys drop lots of bombs. <laughs> Alright, I'm in good shape. Okay, glove. Um, still no weapon, but I got a glove, so that opens up some things. Namely, I can I can do Death Mountain now if I have to. Come back here! Come on! Come on! Give me my key. Rupees, rupees, art. Oof. Okay. Hyrule Castle is empty. I can go to the light world side of Death Mountain now. Um, be a little annoying. Not having sword once again, but um, it's definitely doable. And that's probably my highest item density at this point. So that's where we're headed. Got nine bombs, got a hookshot. We're doing good. <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. Oh, yep, I'll take that. Thanks. What do you guys drop? Berries, okay. Alright, and then here we go. Alright, down this way, over here. Out of the way. Blue mail. Okay. Well, that's something. <laughs> Should we go up here and check to see what's on top of Spectacle Rock? Seems good. And we can check what's inside at the same time.
I expect Gorok has trash, so we're not going to actually worry about that. And there's my first sword. I've got a sword. Let's go get me a sword. A sword and a hint. All right. Ice rod is near the haunted grove. That could be my unique item that's in the haunted grove. Turkey cat, what is wrong? Why are you yelling at me? Yes, I know that you were a hot cat today, but you chose to be in the garage all day. No one made you stay in the garage all day. <laughs> you have a door. You can come through. Okay. That guy just got up close and was like, hey, I, uh, I'm going to be your buddy. <sighs> all right, let's get some items. I mean, at this point, we could go fight Aga if we had to, but we're already up here, so we're going to go ahead and... Alrighty then. Good times. I like having Ocarina. So let's see, what do we have in here? Half magic, our piece, some more rupees. Need to stop shaking my leg. And a bottle, so we can check sick kit if we need to. And we'll do that next time we're in Kakariko. You guys can go right away. I do not like you. <laughs> I don't like those guys either. The only way to kill them is with powder. And actually, we have a good reason to go to Kakariko soon since I've got the flute now. All right, let's check to see what's uh, on Floating Island bomb so we're not going to be coming back there and let's grab spiral cave while we're here hook shot hook shot okay and grab that oh see there we go there's my leg shaking again not even nervous I just do it because it's something I've done my entire life I've read that it's a ADD coping mechanism all right fastest way back down the mountain since I don't actually have loot turned in yet is to do that and we're gonna go do that first before we do anything else we're gonna go turn in or go go, go do flute checks a kid and probably end up fighting Aga next I mean, I could fake flipper. Fake flippering might be a good play, actually. It means I don't actually have to fight Aga. Oh, that's a pretty big sequence break. Potentially. What I've got. One check I can do, or two checks I can do down here. And then the only way to get any other items in the light world right now is to use a glitch. Or no, I guess I'm, I'm going to go do a Gina also, because I can get there with the flute pretty fast. 
<clears throat> All right, let's go see sick kid. What you got for me, sick kid? Some rupees. Great. Actually, Zora is in logic. The other checks aren't. But I'd probably fake Flipper to get up there anyway, just so I can get them out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and hit Agina. I don't know why I walk so far. That's trash. Wow, those guys are just all over me. Yeah, if we fake flipper, I can go ahead and get four total items right now. Five total items. If I fit, I'm willing to fake flipper twice, since I'll probably get hit and mess up somewhere. It's a thing that does happen. Since my execution isn't very good. As I've said. All right. So we're gonna fake flipper, and I can get I can get three items up there. I can't get four. I don't have enough stuff to get four. Um. But even getting just four should allow me to. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay. That was interesting. I don't think I've ever encountered that glitch before. This is going to take me a few tries. I'm not really very good at fake flipper and I don't have, I don't know how to do splash delete. There we go. All right. Let's go get um, Fugitive or Hobo or whatever you want to call him taken care of. And hopefully not get hit on the way there or the way back. No promises. If I do get hit, it softlocks the game though, so that's fun. <laughs> nice. What do we got here? Red mail. Okay. Early red, early game red mail. might just be better off fake flippering again from the other spot since I know how to do it there better. I've only ever pulled this one off once.
yeah, we're gonna just save and quit here. And we'll fake flipper again. Alright, um... I guess I just need to learn how to water walk. <laughs> One of these days I'll get around to practicing some of these more advanced techniques. Did a little better that time. So again, if I get hit, Probably soft lock. But we made it. So now you'll see I am swimming inside. But if I step right back outside, because I have a moon pearl, I don't know why it does it, but because I have a moon pearl, I can do this. Walk in and out and do this. I don't know why that made me start swimming again. That's oh, because I gained a heart maybe? That's weird. I've never started swimming again after opening a chest there. But whatever. Now I've got water walk. Let's undo that though. So that I don't accidentally just die. <laughs> you can check to see what this item is, but I won't be able to splash delete it. But who cares, it's just some movies. Get out of here. You too. So, sequence breaking there just basically got me some extra life. So, not actually a big deal. It um, makes the game a little easier. Nothing else. Bombos. Okay. That was not useful. We are going to go fight Aga. <laughs> With, like, one of the most OP Aga fights ever. Since I'm in red mail already. So, for those of you that haven't watched a lot of Randomizer, if you're watching this, um, you might be going, well, how are you going to fight Aga? You do not have Master Sword. And it turns out you don't actually need the Master Sword, even in Vanilla Link to the Past, to get to Aga, assuming you have the cape. So if you watched from the beginning, you might remember me going, hmm, cape and lantern. This smells like an Aga seed, or something like that. And... The reason why is because with the cape, you can simply do this. Come on. In we go. And let's switch back to something moderately more useful. There's a bomb on that guy. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. I assume that's the guy we hit with like three bombs already. Okay, so they just don't take very much damage from bombs. They take more damage from spin attacks for some reason. I don't have any idea how that would be, since sword does so little damage as it is, but sure, why not? Ooh, he got me before I got to the door. That's not how that's supposed to work. So I once watched Andy do a, um, a race where it had a dark aga in it, 
and he had to do this entire dungeon in the dark. And that looked miserable. But the person he was racing against conceded once they realized it was a dark Agassiz. Um, which, yeah. I think I could probably do it, but I'd have to use a map. And I don't know if that's cheating or not. But I would definitely need a map. And I'm, as far as I can tell, Andy did it without a map. Because he's kind of amazing. Like that. Um, yeah. I'm not going to let you shoot me, sir. I am going to kill your buddy here, though. And that guy, too. Sometimes that guy kills himself. Yeah, he just killed himself. <laughs> I don't know why that happens, but it does. Give me my key. <laughs> hey, Tweak, how are you? It's the first stream I've done in a couple of weeks. I've just been busy with life stuff, you know? Come on. Cash held by the Kakarino Village Elder. Yeah. That guy had a lot of cash, actually. Alright. Bomb. Alright. So, almost to Aga. this. What have you been up to lately? I really want to do a 24-hour stream like you did, but um, I haven't figured out a way to make that work in my life yet. Yeah, I need to really get back into doing this more often. Part of my problem is, is I don't feel like PSO2 is a very fun game to watch people play, and so it makes me kind of not really want to stream it myself, but it's a game that I play a lot. So I probably, I mean, I guess I could start streaming Minecraft once in a while because I do play that somewhat often, even if the things I do are ridiculously stupid in that game. <laughs> People are just going to be like, uh, why would you do that? But, um, no, I guess this is like my main game that I stream these days is Link to the Past Randomizer, even though, I, though I'm not that good at it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I do, for sure. Um, I don't know, like I said, life is just a little complicated right now sometimes. Um, my four-year-old is starting to go to bed a little bit later. Is he gonna not give me any blue balls? That's kind of crazy. Um, it's starting to go to bed a little later, so it's kind of harder for me to start streaming before about 8 o'clock, and by then I'm starting to get a little tired most nights, and so it's just kind of like... It's been hard to motivate myself. There's Blue Balls finally. That's got to be probably my fastest Aga fight ever. <laughs> I did um, a Link to the Past randomizer the other day that I didn't stream um, that had it was an Aga Seed that had Mirror up here, and then once I got Mirror, that led me to Moon Pearl. It was pretty bizarre. Okay. So I have... So, like, let me think. Um... I have very limited access to uh, the Dark World right now. I mean, I don't. I have access to everything, but, like, everywhere to go in the Dark World requires... Oh my gosh, come on. Requires lots and lots of walking. Um, and so, we're going to be doing some walking. Uh, be doing one of the... Oh my gosh, 
fire sword is so trash. Um, I'm gonna be doing a route that, or a, like a way to navigate the dark world that a lot of people that are new to randomizer don't really know about. That allows you to get a few more places. You know, I'm not really very good at Link to the Past. Um, I mean, I guess maybe I'm above average, but like I think I'd be pretty terrible at playing vanilla Link to the Past at this point because I play randomizer so much. So I'm used to using like more randomizer e kind of strats, I guess. And oftentimes being a little more overpowered than you'd be in like a vanilla run. Since I usually have more life and better gear than you would normally have at that point. Okay, so that guy had absolutely nothing for me. But no reason to go over there again. Snow, so in Vanilla Link to the Past, if you don't for some reason have the magic shield, like the red shield, before um, you get here, you can buy it here. I don't even have a regular shield right now, so I could buy that right now, but it wouldn't count as one of my shield upgrades, so like the first shield I found would just give me the same shield again, so I'm just not even going to worry about it. And so... I don't have flippers, I don't have hammer, but I can get to the rest of the world like that. Um, not a lot of people know about that if they're new to randomizer and they go like, like you see on people that are stuck or um, like confused about where to go when they have an Agaseed. Uh, maybe a little shorter. I was able to obtain the hair product that I've used in the past and um, that I like a lot better. So like I did get my hair cut about three weeks ago, so it is a little shorter probably. Um, my usual hairstylist has been doing a single, um, doing one customer in the store at a time sanitizing in between. And so um, I was able to get my hair cut, which is cool. And then, like I said, I've managed to get my hands on the hair product that I prefer instead of the one I've been using for a long time because it had been sold out for months everywhere before the quarantine, and I just happened to stumble across it. Um, so here's another fun one, uh, another trick people don't know about. If you have the cape for some reason, but you don't have hookshot, like hookshot's how you're supposed to get across there, but it turns out you can just walk across that. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> they made that gap just a little, little too big. Um, but yeah, I um, beard's a little shorter, um, hair's a little shorter, and so I'm, I'm a little better groomed. Though it's time to trim the beard again, and I probably will go get my hair cut again pretty shortly. There's a couple other places in the game that you can do silly things like that where they were like, we're not going to put this pit all the way up against a wall. Okay. Right, so I guess I should check to see... I haven't actually checked to see what any of the dungeons are so far. <laughs> Just been getting things. So pod is blue. That's a pendant. Skull Woods is red. Ice Palace is red. Mire is a pendant, so probably not even going to go into Mire. Total Rock is blue. Cool. And Thief's Town is green, but there's a lot of checks there, so I'll probably end up doing it anyway. There's my shield. Yay, I've got a shield and like no life. All right come down this way oof come on okay go right there honestly I probably should be in bed the power company is coming to turn the power off at 8 a.m. to do work on the lines in the area and wildfire prevention and with my sleep apnea I can't sleep without power, so 
I'll be up at like a reasonable hour instead of super late tomorrow, but I don't know. I just don't really feel tired and I really felt like playing some Zelda tonight. Um, okay, Ether. Not really what I was hoping for, but be useful. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going into Mire unless I absolutely have to. I kind of hate that dungeon. Turkey cat, stop yelling at me. Okay, so there's at most two more items that I checks that I can do in here. Yeah. I figure I'll either finish this tonight and it'll be late, or I won't finish it tonight because I finally start getting tired at some point. But it's summertime and I can pretty much never sleep during the summer, so I wouldn't count on me not finishing it. <laughs> Unless it turns into a really wacky seed. But so far I'm what, 55 minutes in and well I don't really have any crystals, I also don't really have any go mode items, so I think it's probably going to be a nice long seed. Unless I start getting a whole bunch of go mode items in a row. Oops. So I did get one item in here, but it wasn't anything special. I'll decrement that. There's another one. Um, if I get some hearts in here, I mean, there's no reason to not finish this, I guess is what I'm saying. Or at least try. Because assuming I don't play terribly, I might get one or two more items in here, still. Even though this isn't a dungeon that I need to finish the game. This playthrough. Probably. I guess it would be weird if a skeleton dropped a heart for me. <sighs> Oof. I don't know if any of these have hearts in them, but I feel like I need to check. <laughs> because I need the health. <laughs> Even with red mail, I really need the health. Okay, shortcut. Now this next room might be where I die. At least those only take a quarter of a heart at this point, because of red mail. Oof! Oof, I have a half heart now. <laughs> oh. Stop giving me rupees. <laughs> Hearts, please? Yes. Just out of curiosity. I didn't think there were any hearts in those. I'm opening. I'm pulling up a lot more of these than I normally do, just because I really would like to have some more hearts. I don't like being this close to being dead. <laughs> Master sword, nice. bomb so we'll go ahead and throw one of these before I pick this up. Alright. My hearts aren't beeping anymore, but I'm definitely not definitely not um, as much health as I'd like. In fact, I kind of want to Nice. I don't know if it'll give me that. Yes! I might actually be able to take the boss of this. All right. Well, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. And um, hopefully I'll catch you soon. We'll start trying to do uh, do these a little more often. And uh, maybe I'll see you on Twitch here pretty soon uh, on one of your streams as well. Good night.
All right, let's see. Does this guy have a heart for me? Because there aren't very many more hearts available in this dungeon to me. I want some powder. Hearts? Hearts? Give me your hearts. No nope, arrows? Okay. Weak. Weak, weak, weak. Ooh. Ooh. There's a chest. The big chest has trash in it. So I don't have to worry about it. And I can hopefully... It'd be really funny if the skeleton dropped hard. I can hopefully beat this guy by using the cape. When I start getting low on health. I'd peg you as a fan of the hammer. Probably. Alright, almost dead. Two more hits. One more hit. Yeah, I'm not letting you kill me. Come on. <laughs> that was not a very good fight on my part, but whatever. Okay. So, Sasra has um, an item for me now. I don't know what it is. But he has one for me. Um, but I'm not going to go get it yet. So looking at where I can go, um, we're not able to do um, blacksmith chain, so we're going to just continue this loop around this way. Um, there's going to be some progress in one of these spots here very soon, so we're going to come down here, we're going to do dig game, we're going to do um, hype cave, we're going to do haunted grove. Or not Haunted Grove, that's not Haunted Grove, that's Stumpy. Um, and then, I mean, we're going to have some progress somewhere. Worst case scenario, it's at Sasarala. Alright, well. I'm missing two items to get into Turtle Rock. Of course, I can't do Turtle Rock yet, but. Got all the medallions <laughs> way early in the game. Won't be looking for those. Let's go check uh, what old Stumpy has to say for himself. Some rupees. Cool. <laughs> Alright, Hype Cave. You're my next hope. So let's head over to Hype Cave. All right, speed strat. Okay. Now I can do Smith Chain. I wish I had Hammer already, but I also have a few checks that I can do up on Death Mountain. This time is empty. Um. 
Let's go ahead and start Smith Chain, I guess. Since I can now do Smith Chain. Um, Smith Chain without mirrors is a little annoying, but it's what we gotta do. Since there's an item I have to leave behind, and I gotta save and quit a couple times. But it's okay. At least I can get around the Dark World easier now, because I can do that. Um, Alright, let's get our Froggy friend here. And save and quit. And that's how you get back without mirror if you want to do blacksmith chain. Just hit your ride this way. Ooh, come on. All right, fine. Stay there. <laughs> Either come at me or stay there. You don't have to do both. Fredsmiths, reunited. When I was a kid, I thought you had to actually legitimately, like, do without your sword for a while. Okay. That was not helpful. But what we can do now is... We do need to do Skull Woods, but I don't have Fire Rod yet. Um, Death Mountain is where a lot of my stuff is, but I don't really want to go all the way up there again yet. Um, so we'll go ahead and do some more Smith Chain and do Gary's Lunchbox specifically next. Since I'm not definitely not going for any kind of good speed tonight, I'm gonna check. I don't know if you can take Gary's lunchbox with you on the bird. So we're gonna try that. Because if you can, that would save me some time. Save me just a little bit of walking. Actually, yeah, it would save me a little tiny bit, but not much. So we're going to do literally the exact same trick we just used to get to the light world, which is to save and quit. And let's test. Hopefully it comes with me. It did. All right, so we'll come through this way, give Gary his lunchbox, get some trash. Get hit a bunch of times, because I'm trash at playing this game. Um, go ahead and do Meyer Shed. I can actually do a big chunk of Meyer right now, I just don't really want to. It's not a required dungeon, there's only two items. It takes a long time, and I can't actually beat the dungeon anyway. But hey, maybe there'll be something in here like bow, or flippers, or cane. Or some rupees, and an arrow. Cool, okay, so there's no way out of here, short of using major glitches. Um, we're going to go ahead and head on up to Death Mountain. Seems to be the right play. <laughs> Try 
try not to get hit too many times. Try not to put an Octorok right, or not an Octorok, but a block enemy right in the way of my ability to proceed. <laughs> well, apparently those guys are immune to uh, Hookshot. Alright, so we're going to come down here and do this. Take that bomb that I probably don't actually need because I went the wrong way. And up here. Nope. Can't, oh, actually, I can take the first shortcut because I have a quick shot. I just can't take the second one. Unless, of course, I totally fail at it. There we go. <sighs> Out of the way. Super Bunny Cave. Some bunch of trash in there. <laughs> okay, there's literally five checks left. That I can do without diving into dungeons and not completing them. So let's see what we can do. Get some trash. Okay. Get some more trash. Get some more trash. And finally, a second helping of trash. Going up to Death Mountain did nothing for me. Cool. Alright. So thinking logically here. <clears throat> I can't beat Ice Palace. I can't beat any dungeons right now. So where can I get the most items? I don't have hammer. I don't have bow. There's not much I can do in pod. In fact, there's one check I can do in pod, and that's it. Um, actually, I can do more than one check in pod. Pod might be the place to go. Okay, we're going to go to pod. Um, probably where I have the most checks right now. Still available. Or actually available. This is probably the fastest way to pod for me right now. Actually that's not true. There was a faster way. Oh well. How come only I get teleported when I go through there? Guards tell tell walking through there don't get teleported. Okay. So I can't do twenty four hour streams, but maybe I can do an overnight stream sometime. Like maybe I'll do one of those like next weekend. Maybe this weekend. Tomorrow night? Probably not tomorrow night. But maybe next weekend. Maybe even during the week. You know, I mean, not as many people will be able to watch because, you know, real jobs and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do an overnight stream one of these days pretty soon. Why am I going this way? Alright, so I can't complete this dungeon, even kind of. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Um, I can't complete this dungeon. I need two additional items to complete it. Very like unlikely to get both in here. Hopefully I get one. Um, I guess at this point I'm probably hoping for bow. Yeah, probably hoping for bow. But maybe hammer. I don't know. It's a key. But honestly, it's possible that I, neither one of them's in here, and I just had to go this way to get um, a progression item for a different dungeon. And we'll have to come back here and double dip this dungeon as well. No reason to go to the right, because I do not have a bow yet. If I had bow, I could go that way. Right, we're going to go this way first and get this item, because we're not completing this dungeon right now. We're just in here looking for some gear. blow that up for later. Of course I get the map already. What you gotta do? I have no keys. Which means that this is probably a key right here. Or it's my shield upgrade, okay. That was a little unexpected. Okay. So that's really all I can do in here. Um, if I'd pulled a key, I could have traversed a little deeper into this dungeon, but I didn't. So we're done here. Um, from here, Next place I can check is... Can't get into Hera. I can check Sahasrara. He's got one item for me. I can check... Um, I can probably get both items in Mire, even though it's not a required dungeon. That's probably where I have to go. Um, so let's save and quit. I can do a good chunk of um, school woods, which is required. So that's probably what I do after Sasserol. I should have gone Sanctuary. Got a full heal. Oh well. I am going to do one. I can't get the item, but I am going to check to see what's in this um, on this island over here. It's nice to actually have a decent shield. Not nice that this guy is like on me. Come on. Go away. All right. Come on, Sasserola, give me, I don't know, something. Hammer? Hammer, maybe? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, let's head on over to Skull Woods. Maybe I'll get a um, fire rod there and be able to complete Skull Woods. Maybe. Heading 
then to Village of Outcasts, and then into School Woods. <clears throat> All right. This cool, not particularly helpful, <laughs> but maybe if we go in this hole, we can get a key check at least. There's that was big key. You can check big key chest. That's something. If I save and quit from here, um, I can potentially use this key in a different spot. Because this has to be a small key. Or mirror. It doesn't have to be a small key, I guess, if it wants to give me a mirror instead. Or no, I guess. Huh, that's an interesting conundrum. I don't know that it has the ability to let me out right now without me saving and quitting. Or, yeah, no, because like, even if I death warp, um, unless there's an exit up here, I'm not getting out. Oh, there is. Okay, there's going to be a chest up here. A locked door there. I don't usually come at it from this side. Flippers, okay. So there's both my items in Skull Woods. There's not really any reason to hang out in here anymore. So we're gonna save and quit. Um, that gets me three more checks that I can do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do them. I can also potentially, potentially clear Desert Palace now. And so we're gonna. Eh, that's gonna teleport me back. <laughs> um, so we're gonna probably go clear Desert Palace or try to, because there's a couple items in there. Turkey Cat, stop complaining! Oops. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. We do have a check that we can do from over here. Like I said there's potentially two items in Mire. I don't really want to go in there unless I have to. Man, you were just determined to chase me down, weren't you? We're actually going to steal a key from the back of Desert to use in the front of Desert just in case um, it's boots locked. So, like, we can definitely full clear. Um, oof. Full clear Desert Palace. Um, actually, that's not true. We can't definitely full clear it, but we can do more checks than. So what we can do is we can go like this. And that way, if the small key is boots locked down here, we can at least check more items. I should probably see that this is, all three of these are blue. That makes sense. 
it's kind of nice that all three of those are blue since they're easier dungeons. good. Desert Palace is full clearable. So let's see, what do we got in here? So it's either a small key or big key. Doesn't matter which, but it's one or the other. Big key. Well, I already stole that small key, so we're going to go ahead and use the small key over here to get another small key. Comfort sword. Nice. Makes life a little more convenient. Map. Cool. So big key chest has a small key in it. Looks like. Awkward. So like I'm super low on life but this is such an early dungeon that I'm really only supposed to have like five hearts here anyway. So I've got half a heart more than you're supposed to have in Vanilla Link to the Past when you get here. Even though my hearts are looking very low. So that's pretty funny. Favorite glitch in the game. You can move those guys. Let's get that small key. Oof, let it hit me. Did a whole heart worth of damage. These things hurt. That's okay, I know where there's some fairies that we can eat. Come on. Just eat some fairies. <laughs> So if I hadn't stolen that key, the routing on that would have been a little more annoying, but it was already slightly annoying because I stole a key. Um, So I can't actually kill that guy. So that's annoying. But I can do that. And just kind of ignore him. <laughs> so let's kill Lamelos. Without a bow. I'm just gonna spin attack him to death. Take three or four hits. That was annoying that that hit me. One left. It's not over yet. That was a short, lame little jump. Come on, you can do better than that. Our item was trash. So no progression items in Desert Palace, but I did need to clear it, so that's done. So I have this really awesome idea. I think I'm going to take a seat from a car, and I'm going to make that into a desk chair. Okay, 
Um, no reason to go to the Dark World from here. I can do Tower of Hera. That has two items in it. It's a required dungeon, so we're gonna do it. Um, because we have to do it at some point. There's a good chance that maybe there's something useful in there. And I don't have to go searching around for stuff as much anymore. Because you don't have to get every item. Um, I'm certainly pretty close to having enough, if not ha already have enough hearts to beat the game. Um, pretty much got enough rupees. It'd be nice to have some more bottles and a uh, net, some powder, but not strictly necessary. So we're going to just go for it. I'm not in go mode, but I have places that I can go to look for things that get me towards having what I need anyway. So that's what we do. Come up here and do Hera. Big key. I almost always forget to flip that switch, so I'm glad that I remembered this time. Probably just the fact that I don't play this enough. Let's see how Moldorn fight is gonna go. This could be really truly Moldorm. Or really not truly Moldorm. Compass, what's my hint say? Shovel is in Mimic Cave. Cool. Oops. Well, that's going to be annoying. Going to the bottom floor. Rip. That's alright, there's an item here. So that's one of my two items is trash. Just restart this dungeon again because I failed pretty spectacularly on my bomb jump. <laughs> I love it when enemies just like walk off edges for no reason. Like usually they're pretty good about doing that and I don't really know what causes it to just happen randomly, but I think it's hilarious when it does. Let's try this again. There we go. Map. Okay. There's going to be an item in the basement. Unless it's a small key. So, 50-50 chance. Either Moldorm has a small key, and I'm going to the basement, or Moldorm has an item, and the small key is in the basement, and is not reachable. Oof, come on, Moldorm, that was aggressive, don't you think? Come on, no small key, no small key, no small key, no small. Oh, it's a small key. Alrighty. Looks like I'm going to the basement for my other item, which is hopefully not just rupees. I kind of like to see hammer or bow. I think next is really what I'd like this to be. Um, 
either one of those would get me a little bit of progression at least. I think bow actually gets me more than hammer right now, but it's hard to say. Alright, while this is happening, I'm going to hydrate a little bit. So I've decided that I'm not interested really in pursuing earning money from Twitch, um, even though I'm an affiliate. I mean, it's cool because I can have like, um, I can have emotes and stuff like that if someone really, really wants to sub to me. But um, instead, like when people donate, I'd really rather them to, like instead of sending me money, like send it to charity and like I've got a really good one picked out I mean there's a couple of good ones I could suggest to you um, child's play is um, really good because they get video games into the yes into the hands of and, and toys in general into the hands of kids in hospitals which is you know important kids need playtime um, the other one that's really important and dear to my heart is um, it's called unravel pediatric cancer and they are one of the best pediatric cancer research funding um, funding organizations and let's see here so I've got flippers and I've got I've got everything I need to full clear swamp palace if I wanted to go clear swamp palace but that's probably where I'm actually gonna head just because there's a lot of stuff there um, so child's play we my wife has a friend She's not really very close with, um, but a friend who, um, a number of years ago, um, their daughter um, was diagnosed with um, a brain tumor, very, very malignant, fast spreading brain tumor, and um, was killed very rapidly from DIPG, and I can't remember what the acronym is for, um, but it's pretty bad, and they um they donated her brain to science which was awesome and actual like actual like progress has been made on treatment and study of that disease as a result um so that by itself is really cool but then they also do tons of fundraisers to earn money to donate to um directly to um cancer researchers so they um don't they don't like redirect that money to you know like the american counselor society or anything like that they partner directly with cancer researchers that are doing research on pediatric cancer and um are helping make some really big differences there too so if you're interested in doing a donation to anyone for any for me if you're interested in donating to me i'd rather you donate it to, to unravel um, if you're looking for charities to spread some love to, Unravel does great work. Um, but if you're looking for something a little more video game related, obviously you could donate to Child's Play because they do some amazing work too. Um, when I was four years old, I had a grand mall seizure. Um, and... Um, was in the hospital for about a week and I don't really remember very much of it because um, I mean first of all I was four and second of all um, you know when you have seizures it does things to you um, in any case Child's Play was not an organization that was around when I was four so I didn't get to you know the benefit of the cool things they get to do to help kids have playtime in hospital settings but I like to think that you know if that happened to me now when I was four you know it'd be more interesting uh, more entertaining and uh, if something like that happened to my son who is now four um, I'd really like to think that you know I don't know that 
I mean, he would end up in a hospital that they have partnered with. But it's just nice to think that there are people out there doing things to help kids in hospitals have fun. Um, so yeah. If you're... If you're looking for something to donate to, that's that's the way to go for sure. Shot time. I've had so many medical issues in my life. I'm really pretty lucky to be alive. Oh, the um. The grand mal seizure isn't even like the scariest like thing that I put my parents through as a child. <laughs> Nor was it the first. So uh yeah, definitely lucky to be alive. Um Oof. Oof. When I've read mail this early in the game. It really makes me not play very carefully. I mean, not that it's early. I'm an hour and 40 minutes, but like when I'm in a dungeon this early in the game with red mail, it's just kind of like, LOL. <laughs> red mail and... What is that? 12 hearts? Tempered sword? This is... Dungeon's gonna be a little bit of a joke. Sure, we'll go that way. Sometimes I forget that you can't collect rupees with your sword in this, because I'm fairly certain in the original Link to the Past you could. Not the remake. Not Link to the Past. I'm sorry, Link's Awakening. The original Link's Awakening, I'm pretty sure you could collect rupees with your sword. And that for many years was my second favorite Zelda game. Um, I only ever completed it once, but I don't know. It it played a big part in my my desire to have a Game Boy when I was a kid, and it was the um, first Game Boy game I ever owned. At this point, it's not my favorite Game Boy game, but it's definitely up there. Um, man, this makes that makes me kind of want to like. Actually, thinking about like my favorite Game Boy game, I might have to stream that pretty soon. I wonder if people have developed speedrun strats for that game. I should look that up. Bombs. Still no big key. I haven't been keeping track of my items in here, so whatever. There's two more. There's at most three more items in here, but probably more like two or one. Oh. No, I am going the right way. No, I'm not going the right way. What am I doing? It's the left side. I don't need to do left side. I'm done with left side. I do need to wish that I had the, the the big key already, but maybe the big key is in the big key chest. That's a thing that can happen in this dungeon, and that would be A-OK -okay with me, because I don't want to have to wander back in here looking for items. This way we go, and we're gonna come over here and get hit a bunch of times, but it doesn't matter because I have red mail. <laughs> Out of the way. I've actually seen that guy like able to move floors before. Hey, turkey cat. I know it's late. You want me to get in my bed so you can lay on me. My cat is 15 years old. She is 
the first cat that my wife and I got together um, early on in our relationship. Um, we got many cats after that, but she has outlived them all. Uh, mostly because she's a chicken and doesn't go outside. Big key, okay. There's an item in the big key chest, great. So we will be coming back in here for that. First, let's take this guy out. I don't remember what most of the bosses are named in this game. Only a few of them. And I forget often. Like, people, I say that in this stream all the time, and people are like, oh, well, that's this boss. And I'm like, yeah. And then I remember it for like a couple weeks, and then it's gone from my brain. And it's not because I don't care, it's just. Hard for me to remember. Too many other things I'm trying to remember, I guess. There's Fire Rod. We're gonna come in for this other item. Apparently we're gonna do an Oops All Dungeons too, it looks like. <laughs> Meyer. Hopefully we don't have to go into Meyer also, but we've now completed two of the um, optional dungeons, one of which was definitely required since the boss had Fire Rod and that's gonna be required to beat the game tonight. Um, but, you know. Just take advantage of some iframes there. Do, 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 do. All right, so realistically speaking here, Swamp Palace is taken care of. I have Hammer, so I could go do Ice Palace right now and even full clear it. It would be annoying, but I could do it. Um, Skull Woods, I could do. I could finish that off. Um, Skull Woods and Ice Palace are probably my next two plays. Because I don't have Bow and Arrow yet, so I still can't do Eastern or Pod. So let's go ahead and start with Ice Palace, I guess. Because, like I said, I can I can finish Ice Palace um, with the gear I have. I'll have to use Bombos instead of... Actually, no, I have Fire Rod, too. Why is that saying that's not in logic? I have Hammer. I have Fire Rod. Hookshot. I can't imagine why this wouldn't be in logic. It's trying to tell me that it's not in logic. Let me make a little note here, so I can email the person. Yeah, I don't know why that wouldn't be in logic. That's weird. Oh, and flippers. Let's get that off the 
the screen. What's my hint say? Some arrows held by someone friendly. Awesome. Super helpful. <laughs> I need to take a screenshot of this too, actually. Um, nope, I don't want to do that. I save that pictures okay cool all right sorry about that little detour I um I need to email the or rather post on github or something um something for the the person who wrote the tracker I'm using because it's showing me that ice palace is not in logic and I just can't for the life of me think why that would be since I have bookshot and fire rod and flippers and mitt and hammer. Okay, first item in Ice Palace was trash. Good to know. <laughs> Shot OP. Oof. Walked right into that one. All right. Didn't do it. Let's see if I get this one. Nope. Try it one more time. I got that kill at least. Alright, what's my hint here? Heart container requires the hammer. Okay. That's probably in... There's a couple different places that could be actually. I'm not really that caring very much about heart containers. You know what, since I'm potentially looking for items still, I mean, I definitely need um, some arrows <laughs> and cane of Samaria. So um, there's no reason to do the speedrun strat on Ice Palace. And we'll just go the long way for now. All right, and down. Okay, and let's go up this way, not get hit by that thing. I don't have big key yet. Nope, I don't. There's a way to clip through the bottom of that, but I've never done that. You got the same glasses? That's cool, I guess. Are they um, gunner or whatever? That's what brand these are. They were way expensive and I hate them. I wish I didn't have these glasses. I wish I had some regular blue light blocking ones because these ones are really, yeah, I mean, these are blue light blocking glasses for sure. And blue light blocking is good, but Gunner makes trash ones. Um, they offer slight magnification, which is annoying, but then also I can see the reflection of my own eyeballs in them, which is annoying also. Some people, those two things, they don't notice and it doesn't bother them. But 
for me, I I hate them so much. And they're like super expensive. I really wish that I had different blue light blacking glasses. To the point where in, I want to say, October, I think it is, I'm eligible for new prescription glasses again. And I fully intend to get new prescription glasses that have built-in blue light blocking. So that I can just wear my prescription glasses when I play video games at night. Um, because I don't need my prescription glasses to see up close. But I know that the coating that's going to be on those is going to be better than what's on my glasses. And like lots of people like these glasses, don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm definitely one of the people that the slight magnification on them is annoying. And that... Oof, that was interesting. Um, and that I can definitely... Um, see my own reflection in them, which is not super nice. Are yours yellow tinted like these ones are? Um, this is a Logitech C615. It's um, pretty budget these days. It was a decent one back in the day but I got it for free and it's hard to pass up free. All right, so I've got powder now. That's useful, especially in Ganon's Tower. Yeah, um, the amber colored lenses are definitely better and obviously my prescription glasses aren't going to have amber lenses in them, but I also feel like it would be significantly less annoying in fact, we're going to use the powder for the first time right here. Get a fairy. <laughs> um, I feel like it will be significantly less annoying to not have the um, the slight magnification and, like I said, the fact that I can see my eyeballs. <laughs> I just try not to notice them. Hopefully this is an item. If this is an item, I can be done in this dungeon. It's a key. Great. <laughs> Just remove your eyeballs. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it works that way. See, I need to probably do this dungeon over so that I don't have to go the long way, but that's okay. All right, um, we're going to shoot that guy because he deserves to die. <laughs> and then we're going to do the speedrun strat for this dungeon because it's faster, I feel like, than trying to remember how to do it without doing the speedrun speed run strat. <clears throat> All right, and go this way this time, and now we need bombs next. that don't get hit by that guy hit that guy throw a bomb down there in that corner jump down get the quick kill on that guy get the quick kill on that guy all right 
my kiddo is crying, so I need to go check on him. First, I'm going to hit that so I don't forget. I will be right back. And we're back. All right, we're gonna go like that. That should be fine. Ah, out of practice. Go. And across. Speedrun stat officially completed. Minimize that down. <sighs> Every once in a while, my kid wakes up in the middle of the night and just starts screaming no. Usually happens when he's extra tired when he goes to bed. Kids have this weird thing they do. When they're the more tired they are, the worse they sleep. And he definitely does that. He was extra tired all day today. And sure, I'll take a fairy. Um, and as a result, is being a grump. Come on, ice physics, let me in. So the reason that we do what I did there at the speedrun strat when we go there is that um, it does that right there. Gets me on this side so that I can simply shove that. And down we go. Because you're supposed to end up on that side with the blocks that way. But, yeah, actually I'm not going to go that way. I mean, I don't have the, what is it, the map, or is it the compass? Yeah, I don't have the map yet, um, but that's fine. This guy's probably going to drop the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. say I don't think I missed anything in there I definitely didn't unlock some doors that I was supposed to but who cares about that right Meh, doors all right so no real progress in there um we can do some overworld checks and we can do skull woods. 
probably do Skull Woods first. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Because once I have Skull Woods, then I can do Pyramid Fairy. And I already have all the items from Skull Woods, so it's just a matter of going to the boss and punching him in the face. In his stupid moth face. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Hopefully he's not too trolly tonight. We'll see. This way, this way. Around this way, kill that guy. The only thing I might need is some keys potentially. I guess we'll get some keys. need to be able to listen. It's very important to have the audio cues for this um, dungeon. Ooh, that was close. All right. Grab the key. Let's let this guy get me out of here. This used to be my least favorite dungeon in the game because of wall masters like that. That last room, the one right before that, I always dreaded it. But... Cares. Piece of cake. And just to make sure we have enough keys, we're going to go ahead and grab this one too. I've already got two items from inside Skullwood, so we know there's not another one. So we're just going to come over here and rush the boss. Um. Since that chest pretty much has to either be, yeah, that chest pretty much has to be the um, either the map or a key. Since I still only have one bottle, I'm pretty sure, we're going to go ahead and play this a little cautiously and not waste magic. Gosh, these mummies have like the most HP in the entire game, I swear. Fire rod, fire rod, magic, magic, fire rod, fire rod. Try not to get hit, try not to get hit, got hit. Didn't get bunnied though, that's what matters. Up here we gotta make sure that we let that guy go because he can actually pull you out of the hole. Like while you're falling down there, if he lands on you, pulls you, you go all the way back out. Super obnoxious. This guy, maybe the most annoying boss in the game. If you hit him and then he hits spikes, you um, don't end up doing any damage to him. Like right there. I just hit him, but he bounced into spikes, so no damage. He wasn't too trolly though. A lot of times he just hangs out up there at the top. And when he just hangs out up there at the top, you... Uh, have to just wait for him to kind of come down otherwise when you hit him it doesn't do any damage so it's like okay so i can do pyramid fairy now um got a couple other checks i can do you know considering how many checks i've done how long I've been playing. 
I have remarkably few of the unique items. I am still... So for Go Mode, I need Cane of Samaria, Ice Rod, and maybe Boots. Um, so let's go do some checks. Let's go ahead and do... Do... over here and check um, Mad Batter. He's a good one to check since that's right. Hit you in the head with my hammer. Um, he's a good one to check since you know I don't really have any reason to come back over here again. Aside from hammer time, I guess I probably should have done that in a slightly different order, but it is 12.30 at night, so I am getting tired, finally. But I don't really want to call it quits on this seed, even though I'm getting tired and have to be up in seven hours. Alright. So that was a waste of time. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's faster to just do this. The next two checks I need are Dark World, but I needed to go this way. So that seemed like that might be faster. I don't know, it's hard to say. But I, I absolutely have to have... Oh, actually I need Bow and Arrow for Go Mode too. So I need Ice Rod, Cane, Bow and Arrow for... for um, go mode and preferably two bow and arrow because I've never fought Ganon with ounce silvers before and that sounds awful. Um, but tonight might be the night that we try it. Okay, stay away from me, sir. I'm not interested in what you are selling. Something good, hopefully. Butter sword. Okay. It's somewhat fitting that that would be like right near the burned out blacksmiths. <laughs> Though it's a little annoying that I have butter sword before I have even the basic bow and arrow. It's also a little annoying that like for all of the checks I need to do, I kind of have to go in opposite directions. So like I have a check down here and then I gotta check or two checks in the um two checks at the um pyramid fairy and then there's ice rod that's one of my go mode items okay a little bit closer now and then I've got graveyard ledge Go spend some rupees on some bombs on a great big giant bomb explosions this bomb always kind of cracked me up because it, um, like the place you use it, too strong for a regular bomb, right? So you have to use this big orange bomb on it. Regular bomb won't do the trick. Regular bombs hurt you. Big orange bomb does not hurt you. So I'm just kind of like, is it stronger or weaker? If it's weaker, how does it blow up the hole? 
stronger, how does it not blow you up? And the explosion looks bigger too, so I mean, I'm leaning towards it's got to be more powerful. But if I stand right there, it's not going to hurt me, even though I'm inside the explosion. Some arrows, some rupees. Man, talk about your trash vest. I don't have boots yet, so I can't check King's Tomb. I don't have mushrooms, so I can't check Witch's Hut. this path back across here again so we can hit graveyard ledge at least actually what would be about perfect is if um if boots were at graveyard ledge that would be kind of perfect since that would let me check king's tomb but the chances of that happening are very low we could also encounter book at some point But with how few checks there are left in the game, it's very possible that we're going to be looking at a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not worth my time. We're going to be looking at a um, seed where um, we have to do all dungeons. So, yep, let's come up here and we'll check Burna Cave, because why not? And then at that point, we're heading into Mire, where I'm sure there's a bow. Bow is either in Burna Cave or in Mire, because I really have to have bow to, to um, progress the story of the game any further. Or I guess it could be like an item that gets me a bow. But there's going to have to be something in one of these places that gets me to go. I suppose it could be Cane of Samaria, which would get me to Turtle Rock, which would then potentially have bow. So that could be it also. But there's got to be progress either here or... Mushroom. Cool. Okay. Um, we have fast save and quit now, so we can do that. What happens if you mirror up here? I don't remember where you end up. Oh yeah, right there. It's perfect. Okay. Let's go turn in mushroom. Turn you into a sausage, good sir. What are you yelling about, turkey cat? Yeah, you're a turkey cat and you're yelling. There's my cane. Okay. So... Off to Death Mountain we go. Go ahead and catch a full heal in here first, though. And I'm going to take the upper route. I feel like it's just a little bit nicer. Hit by a rock, hit by a rock. Apparently, we're going to just hang out here for a minute while we wait for this guy to not be in the worst place he could possibly be right now. get hit with another rock <laughs> if you dash into those guys they turn to stone but not before hitting you once yeah I'll take that heart <laughs> I 
I didn't know those guys could fly. I don't need you to be dead, I just need you out of the way. Oops, did not mean to collect that. That was a waste of a few seconds or a second or whatever. Out of the way, good sir. Out of the way. Come on. Alright, I'll take the heart. I think that was a net positive change in life. These guys, on the other hand, are obnoxious. Right around this way, and let's go do Turtle Rock. Which is a very hard dungeon if you are not prepared for it. But if you are, it's not too bad. This is a pretty easy dungeon. And then I think... I was going to say, then I think I'm ready for Garen's Tower, but I'm not, because I don't have a bow yet. Like, <laughs> what are the chances of that? This late in the game and no bow? If I remember correctly, you can... Yeah. Get some hearts out of one of those. I think it's supposed to be rubies, rupees in the... Game. All right, what's my hint here? Bombs is held with a grumpy fish. Cool. We're going to go ahead and use that first. Not that we're going to run out of magic in here. Because I think I only... Oh, I have three potions now? Holy cow. I have not been paying attention. I thought I was still only on one potion. Granted, one of those potions has a stupid B in it. What you gonna do? Alright, let's do this room next. fire rod out. This room used to give me so much trouble when I was a kid. Um, just like timing all of it right. And then like when I started playing this again what, like last year? Earlier this year? In any case. I used to like save state in this room so that like I didn't have to keep writing it over and over again. Now I don't even worry about it. Even when I first started running randomizer, I did a lot of save stating just to save myself some time. Not that I was like trying to um, like time myself for records or whatever, but just to save myself actual physical real world time. There's one of my turtle rock items. But now I don't mess up bad enough, often enough to bother with it. All right, let's get some full magic and take another ride on, not that. That way is a trap. Let's see how bad I messed this room up. Did we not do that? What you just did there, Mr. Chain Chomp? <clears throat> All right, so I've got Butter Sword. This is gonna be not too bad of a dungeon. Um, Rag, is it Rag, not Ragnar, 
try try something or other. Whatever the heck his name is. Trinex? Maybe that's his name? Um, goes down pretty quick with Butter Sword. Well, that was about terrible timing. I wanted to try that because I've never actually tried that strategy for ending up in here without those guys, but clearly did not work. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously this game was made first, so that's probably where they got the inspiration. One of these days I need to get around to actually playing the Nishcap. Um, I've heard good things about that game. And I do enjoy the 2D Zelda games significantly more than the 3D ones. I don't really like 3D Zelda games, um, but 2D ones are definitely fun. This is my favorite Zelda game, and then probably Link Between Worlds, and then Link's Awakening, and then I actually am kind of a fan of the adventure of Link. Um, I actually enjoy that game. I've been watching, like, some people run randomizer on that game, and it looks terrible. Like, randomizer for that game looks so hard. Wasn't Minish Cap made by, like, I want to say, like, Capcom or something, though? I swear that it was made by Capcom. Which, I guess, I don't necessarily have a problem with. Capcom does make some good games. In the past, they, they've done some... Um, they've done some shady things, but... Um, yeah, but I mean, Nintendo released Link to the Past on Game Boy Advance. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Kill these guys with bombs, I guess? Ooh, I got an idea. It's a bee! Okay, well that didn't do as much as I had hoped. Hopefully this kills them, otherwise we'll be coming up with some other strategies. <laughs> I've never had to do that room without bow and arrow before. <laughs> Shovel. I actually knew that was in there from a hint way earlier in the game. And then there's a unique item. There's a unique item in the Haunted Grove. So... Um, Oops, that is not the right way to go. Why did I do that? I guess I just wanted to take some extra damage. Um, but maybe that's where my bow and arrow is. Hmm, small key and a big key chest. Feels bad. I'm out of bombs. I'm potentially in a lot of trouble. Unless there's a bomb in this room, I'm in trouble, and we'll have to do this dungeon again. Alright, let's go kill some stuff. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I needed one more bomb. Wow, that was nice, thanks. Thanks for hitting me right into that thing instead of letting me use my, uh, my powder on it. Hmm. 
Really? Really, really take that many hits to die? Cool. You know what? You know where I, I should actually check for bombs is in this next room down here. Um, if I use the cape, I should be able to open all these without... There we go. There's the bomb I needed. Turkey cat, stop yelling at me. I know it's late. All right. I mean, Four Swords was on the same cart as as Link to the Past. I remember because I had that cart, Link to the Past and Four Swords. Even though the Link to the Past version that's on the Game Boy Advance is pretty different than this particular version. Yeah, they did that, but then, like, some of the rooms look a little bit different, and they changed the Ice Palace to make it easier. Not that you actually need to make Ice Palace easy, because if you use the speedrun strat, it's actually super easy. <laughs> but a lot of people have trouble learning how to do the bomb, bomb jump there. I mean, I know it took me a long, long time and a lot of practice to be able to do it. Alright, I got a blue potion still. Yeah, I mean, I definitely used to own the GBA version of A Link to, a pa Link to the Past and have actually beat that version as well. It just is not my, not my favorite. Okay. Wow. That's... That's beautiful. Okay, I'm almost dead. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use my blue potion now instead. So that's nice. Normally you'd have the mirror shield for this. And vanilla, into the past. Did they change Water Temple and Ocarina 3D for it? I am... Um, I honestly am not a fan of Ocarina of Time, honestly. I know it's kind of like a blasphemous thing to say or whatever, but... It's the truth. That was not what I was trying to do. Thanks, game. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, I just don't really like 3D Zelda games, is what it comes down to. I don't enjoy them. My nephew swears by uh, Majora's Mask. He says it's like the best game. The best Zelda game. It's his favorite. Yeah, I... Meh. I just... I don't know. I don't really like 3D Zelda. I just... It doesn't work for me. Alright, we'll start with Ice Rod tonight. <laughs> Perfect timing. Alright, let's see here. Oh man, I killed him first. Gotcha. Now we don't have any ice to deal with. Come on, Trinex. Down, over, left, and... 
Wow, that was interesting. Dead. <laughs> yeah, the closest thing to a 3D Zelda that I like is A Link Between Worlds, and that's only like pseudo 3D. Okay, so no bow in Turtle Rock. What do you suppose the chances are that there are two bows in um, Meyer? I think we're looking at an Oops All Dungeons. This is unfortunate. Also, I'm going to be going right back to the, the light, <laughs> Dark World since I tried to do that from right there. We're gonna go check Haunted Grove because I have a sneaky suspicion that one of my bows is in Haunted Grove. It's also possible that one of my bows is in Ganon's Tower. So if I get one bow, I'm gonna do what I need to to get into Ganon's Tower. And only if I complete Ganon's Tower without silvers will I be going into Visory Mire. Because I hate that dungeon. Yeah, I'll take that bomb since I'm a little low. Boots, okay. Well, that gets me two more checks and a heart container, so we'll definitely be doing that. Since this is the way to get to um, it's not that far to get to a couple of the checks from here. We're gonna probably go ahead and use the bird. Flip the bird, use the flute. Come on, birdie. Quack, 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 quack. because I think it's faster to do that than walk that distance. And now we can come over here and check this and King's Tomb. And what do we have? Some arrows, thanks. Thanks for the taunt. <laughs> I mean, and I could always open up the spoiler and see exactly where the air or where the bow is, but I don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to Misery Mire. <laughs> this is a Oops All Dungeons seed, including Aga. This was even an Aga seed. I am going to complete every dungeon. Dinosaur bird thing. Ooh. Vanilla ether. Alright. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. Come on. On, out of the way.
don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'll accept it. <gasps> I feel like my route in this dungeon is probably suboptimal because I play so conservatively with the keys in it. Because sometimes this boss actually drops a small key, and that can be really obnoxious. Um, because then you have to come in twice. Compass. which is nice because now I can get the big key chest pretty easily since it's basically only a tiny detour from my normal route. Instead of going down and opening that door, I'm just going to go back the exact way I came. Since I have the big key, especially. There's a chest that I used to forget in this dungeon. It was the first one that I grabbed. I used to forget it. And then, like, never be able to figure out where I was supposed to go. But now I just grab it first so I never forget. Because there's not really any reason to route back that way again. So it turns out, if you have boots or hookshot, either one is good enough to get you across this. And I could use a key on that door, but there's not really any reason to. Because it literally just takes you out into the same room in a spot that I could walk back to if I want. I don't know why I would, when I could just do this, but this dungeon is just kind of oddly designed. There's a lot of chests you don't have to actually, like in vanilla, you don't actually necessarily have to get to, because you can just route differently. There's a lot of routes you can take, because there's a lot of doors you don't have to open. Tiles hurt. There's bow and arrow. Get there. We're going to go ahead and complete this dungeon anyway, though, just in case silvers are on the um, pedestal. Because this is the only dungeon I have left to unlock pedestal. And I'm not amazing at this game. Even if I do know some tricks like that. I wonder if that trick works in like the US release version of this game. my other item. Let's get out of here. I'll go ahead and use that. Uh, soundboard? Are you talking like a stream deck sort of thing? Oh, okay. Oh, you mean like it? Oh, you installed one. Okay, so like a, a soft software soundboard that plays things. There are probably ways you could have done that for free.
takes MP3 files. I actually have um, a thing that people can use as a stream deck, but it's not compatible with my operating system. So I don't use it. Yeah. There's no Linux drivers for it. It's got a whole mess of different buttons on it. Someone gave it to me for free. So it's not like I'm out a bunch of money or anything. Um, it just sits in my garage. Since, like I said, I don't really have anything better to do with it. Yeah, they don't really sell any back because it's like an older model. And it's not like from a well-known brand. Like they're, um, like you can use it as a stream deck, but it's not like designed just for that. It's technically designed to be used to like automate anything you want with buttons. And so it, um, I don't know. It just, like it's there, you can use them like with computer servers and stuff like that. It's just, so like I don't think it would actually sell for very much on eBay, but I might try at some point. I tried to install it on my computer and it just, it doesn't do anything on my computer because there's no driver. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. Now I can go do pod. Now I can go do... Um, Eastern, finally. I can do... Ganon's Tower. Um, it sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't know what it is. I should stream it. It's a rage game. Like it's supposed to make you like frustrated or something. That doesn't sound very fun if that's the case. What platform is it on? Is it like a web browser game or is it a um, on Steam? Let's see. It is not available for Linux. Wow. I'm watching like the gameplay video or whatever and that just looks really annoying to play. <laughs> it doesn't look like fun at all. <laughs> Why would I play that? <laughs> But maybe I should start um, streaming that game, Don't Look Back. We've never actually finished Don't Look Back. I 
I mean, it can be entertaining to watch people play it, but like, if it's not entertaining for me to play it, I don't really want to play it, you know? I don't know, at some point I still need to do a Wikipedia speedrun, I know. Portal 1, Portal 2? I've beat Portal 1 at one point. I had this weird glitch happen when I played it though. Like, so there's like Portal 1 and then there's the Portal 1 like hard game. Um, or like hard mode or whatever. That changes the puzzles slightly to make it more difficult. And for some reason my my save game glitched out and put me straight into the like hard hard game second version or whatever when I played it and so it um like I'd look up like I would get totally stuck on these puzzles and I'd be like how the heck are you supposed to be able to do this like I, I don't get it and then I'd like watch videos of people I'd be like stage 16 or whatever it was on I'd be like how do you do this and like I'd look up YouTube videos and the stage would be not the same as mine. It would be similar, but it would not be totally the same. And I was just like, what the heck? Come on. And then I eventually figured out that that's what it was. Yeah, that's what I hear is Portal 2 has co-op. Um, didn't it come out on like the 360? Xbox 360. I wonder if it's backwards compatible to um, Xbox One. If so, I could potentially pick that up. Yeah, but I don't know if there's a Linux Linux version of it. I mean, there probably is, since it's. There is not. Steam has a lot of games that are compatible with Linux, but mostly they're indie games. Actually, and I do have Steam installed right now, I think, on my system. Um, but I don't think I actually own any games on Steam. <laughs> Just never gotten around to buying any. Subnautica? I feel like I've heard of that. I don't know what it is, though. Sounds familiar. And I mean, there are certain games that I can, that are Windows games that I can get running on Linux. It's just, it's a lot more work and I prefer, if I'm gonna buy a computer game, I'd rather it be something that is natively supported because it can always break in the future if it's not natively supported in Linux. And um, 
I also like to reward companies with supporting the operating system that I use, or reward companies for supporting the operating system that I use. So like, for instance, I just got um, Magic Arena working, but I intend to spend exactly zero dollars on that game. Holy cow, I am getting late. It's getting late and I'm getting tired. <laughs> I can't even talk properly. Okay. Okay, you're you're a mean little dragon. Big keys in this room somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I can there are things I could do. Like I could install Windows in a virtual machine though to have a decent graphics card active inside my virtual machine i would need a different motherboard because this one only has a single graphics card slot and so i um couldn't really do that um and i could always hot swap or um you know, like dual boot or whatever, but I don't know. I really am not a fan of the Windows operating system. And so I would probably just never boot into it because that's what's happened in the past when I've had, um, when I've had Windows as a secondary operating system on my computer that I could dual boot into, I always just go, nah, too much work and don't boot into it. So I just don't. I mean, there's literally only one game that I think would convince me to install Windows right now. And they closed down the servers for it a couple years ago. And they'd have to reopen the servers for me to consider reinstalling Windows. Um, even then, I'd probably just run it inside of a virtual machine, not dual boot it. I'm using a. No, I don't use a Yeti. Um, I use something significantly more expensive than that. <laughs> um, here, I'll show you on the what it looks like. I can get it. This is my microphone. It is a Audio Technica ATR twenty one hundred X USB. Though it also has an XLR port on the bottom, so that it can be used with your virtual sound system. It's a dynamic microphone, which is really ideal if you're in a environment that's not audio treated. Um, it's the same kind of microphone that you would use for like a concert, um, because in concerts you're not in like a a audio isolated studio environment. You're going to have other sounds that would come through. So um, a dynamic microphone is less likely to pick up things like fan noises, uh, keyboard clicks, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people seem happy with Yetis, but I did a lot of research and decided I wanted a dynamic mic, and around the time I decided I wanted a dynamic mic for my microphone, um, the quarantine happened and all audio equipment went super up in price. And so um, instead of spending like 70 or 80 dollars i ended up spending over a hundred dollars on my microphone so that was annoying but um it's a really good microphone well, he's not too bad you only have to hit him what 17 times i think it is with the hammer and then he takes a handful of arrows to the face you can also actually kill him with um you can break his mask with bombs. <laughs> I 
He actually dies from a single silver arrow to the face after his mask is off also. There's my silvers. Yeah, I mean, in vanilla, he's definitely a little more difficult. Um, you should have more than five hearts. At that point in the game, you should have... Seven, I want to say. At least seven, if not more from having partials. I almost made an oof. Oh, five hearts left, yeah. That can be a problem. All right, let's double dip the first dungeon I went into now. I really need to um, build a cable so that I can use this mic with my Xbox One also for party chat. Like, I don't do party chat that often. Um, usually, like, when I play PSO2 with my buddy, we um, use Discord instead. Because I can get my Xbox audio through my computer. Yeah, actually, I already have another realm built right now um, with the nether update going on it. Um, we have a very efficient mob grinder, a pumpkin farm, a sugarcane farm, a kelp farm, a bamboo farm. Um, the only thing the mob grinder doesn't get is... Um, well, it's, it's Bedrock, so it's Switch, some versions of PC, Xbox One, and I think PS4 all can play on the Realm. But it's just another co-op Realm. I actually made something hilarious tonight. Um, I made a thing that just poops chickens out into the nether. <laughs> it doesn't do anything else except poop chickens out nonstop in the nether so that they just wander around. Because <laughs> I had a whole bunch of chicken eggs and I thought, this seems like a good idea. Oops. Yeah, that's good. I Have you guys been checking out the new Nether update? Yeah. Um, my buddy has... Uh, he's wearing a full Netherite, Netherite armor. Um, and using full Netherite gear. And then like fully enchanted also at this point. Oof. Really? Um, Yes. I mean, that's how you make netherite gear. But like one of the farms that we have going, the kelp farm, literally, you flip a switch and take a piece of kelp out of it, and you'll hit level 30, usually, depending on how long it's been running. I jumped up from level 30 to level 47 um, with it earlier tonight, and then my buddy wasn't paying very much attention and accidentally one-shotted me with his netherite bow, and all that experience went away. Because <laughs> he was horsing around trying to shoot chickens in the nether and missed and hit me instead.
All right, off to Ganon's tower we go. Um, the realm that we're on, no. Oh yeah, it does. The the kelp farm would work fine on on Java. I actually own a copy of the Java version of the game. Also, it was the first version I bought way back during the beta. Um, but it's really easy. You just um, use some observers, some pistons, and place water in a very specific way, and it'll cause the the pistons cause the kelp to harvest when it hits a certain height, and then the water that you place a specific way pulls it over and then down to a hopper that then puts it in a chest. That's cool. Yeah, we, um, my current mob grinder is not good for experience because it kills things too fast, but it is capable of killing, um, it is capable of killing witches, which is nice, and it isn't a drop trap, so it actually, like, was really easy to build. One of the easiest ways to build an EXP farm, though, is to build a mob grinder that just doesn't drop things far enough so that they die in one hit. Like, if you drop things like 22 blocks, I think it is, it leaves them with a half heart of health. Most things, unless they're armored, and then they have a little more. Um... I just have never found it that important to kill mobs for experience because you can get so much experience just doing things like kelp farming. It literally is just like fully automated and it produces kelp faster than it can burn kelp but then it's also um, powered by bamboo that's automatically farmed so it just it fills up a chest full of kelp pretty quick. Alright, Ganon's Tower, here we come. We're only looking for big key in here because we're in go mode. Looking for big key and a couple of small keys. As soon as I've got that, we are donezo. <laughs> Cannon's having a rave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's definitely possible. Start left side. I like left side better. Plus, maybe big keys right here. You never know. Nope, but there's a small key. There's another one. Mirror shield, nice. Bombs. Could you just get out of the little corner, skeleton dude? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I die in this room. Or, like, how much damage I take in this room, since I routinely take a lot. Use a cape here because it's just convenient. There's big key. Okay. This is going to be a fast Ganon's Tower. <laughs> so I think I got enough keys now already.
Oops. Really? Did I honestly do that? The game said no. <laughs> game was like, yeah, no health for you. Alright, next is one of the most annoying rooms in the game. But it's made much less annoying by having mirror shield. Thank you. Fifteen arrows. Probably enough for the rest of the game. <sighs> That's an obnoxious sound. Let's get out of this room as fast as we can. Bonk. Probably would have been good if I caught one of those. Do I really have... I have four potion, or four bottles. Fun. I don't know why I did that. I guess in the hopes that maybe there'd be some arrows. But I probably have enough for the rest of the game, like I said. Because I think it's, what, like, four to kill Ganon? I probably will go buy potions for Ganon, just so that hopefully he goes down pretty easily. Come on. Here's the room that I just go, nah, not gonna bother. Instead, go like this. And we do the same thing in this room. So this room's even more annoying, because ice physics are terrible. Here. That was a pretty quick kill on those guys. See you later, Lamolus. bit of everything there. Let's head on up. These guys get ether instead. But it looks like I used it too early. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha that time. Alright. Dash through these guys. Zap those guys. Dash through them. Okay, we're just going to start this room over again because it decided to have me struggle against the edge and I don't want to time out. To do it a bunch of times since I'm a little short on magic. There we go. Of 
course, there's a magic refill in this. Right there. But I had to have enough for that room. And we'll switch back here. I'm going to take one intentional hit here. There is a route that takes no hits, but I mess it up and I have this route really easily figured and I'll just take one hit and it doesn't matter. Whee! Compass. Some rupees. All right, if I was gonna hit the Ganon's Tower despawn glitch, I would have hit it by now, by this room, so I think we're good. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Go ahead and take a heal there. Time to fight. Move on. Yeah. That happens. It happens. Not a big deal. Well, this is not going to be sub three and a half, but we might be sub 340, depending on how my Ganon fight goes. Could we? Thank you. All righty. Getting close to the end now. Out of the way, little piggies. I always like to think that they're little pigs. I mean, I don't think they are, but they look like little pigs to me, so I always call them little piggies. Now, I actually personally think this Aga fight is usually easier than the first one, because usually the first one gives you tons and tons of blue balls. Though, this Aga fight I had in this seed tonight was pretty easy. I guess he's trolling me with a harder fight since he's uh, his earlier one was so easy. We're just gonna have regular Aga use not be lined up with anyone and just use blue balls lots of times. Seems legit. A couple more hits and he should be toast. Oh, one more hit, even. Alright. We're gonna go buy a couple of potions before we fight up Ganon just to hopefully make sure that I don't have to fight him twice. Come on, fairy. All right, let's go get some. See, those guys can go right through that portal right there. And it doesn't affect them. But me, it sends me straight to the dark. Okay. So I don't want to have just a green potion. I'd rather have some blue potions. Okay, so let's 
So now I've got two fairies and two blue potions. Red mail, butter sword, silvers. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Let's go fight Ganon. I could still be sub 330. We'll see. That was a rough seed, though. It took me forever to find that bow and arrow. The fact that it was in Oops All Dungeons is annoying. <laughs> I guess I didn't probably have to go to Thief's Town. Right, let's see what, what Ganon has to say to us tonight. I am your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. What does that make us, you ask? Stop teleporting, please. Silver, my one true weakness. Fill up your health. into Ganon and he is four ever dead um, sometimes I play music when I stream um, when I do I use um, a service that allows you to do that that's not copyrighted thank you Mikey you are two minutes late <laughs> I don't even know what that means I use a service that won't get you copyright strikes because the music is all licensed for streaming. Because a lot of people are getting copyright strikes right now and it's technically not legal to stream other people's music while you play. Like, I could actually get a copyright strike right now for this music in the game, but I don't know how to turn... Um, Actually, I do know how to turn the music entirely off in Link to the Past um, without losing the sound effects. And I might actually start doing that sometime in the near future. If I ever get a single copyright strike for video game music, I'll probably do that. It's not Nintendo necessarily that would do it. Um, and I haven't heard of anyone getting a copyright strike from Nintendo for the music, but I've, I've gotten copyright hits. Like, I've had my stream muted before because someone um because someone took the music from this game and used it in their own song and uploaded that to youtube and then was like oh well anyone that has this sample and the song that i sampled is violating my copyright except that like they didn't even have the permission to stream or to like to use that song or anything yeah it was pretty ridiculous um so I've, had, I've, I've been hit for copyright like that, but it was just a muted stream. Um, and then a couple of songs on the service I use got muted, and then when that happens, you just have to report it to them. No, his uncle doesn't die. His uncle just, like, um, he survives. Don't 
Cross Axis. <laughs> so I was sub three thirty. In fact, that was like a three minute Ganon fight. That's not bad at all. That's one of my fastest Ganon fights I've ever had. Redsmiths. <laughs> Sick kids back, feeling good. We're at here, Death Mountain. <laughs> but yeah, I um, as far as like my mic goes, I um, in addition to using that, I actually have um, a boom arm and pop filter that it's on like I guess you can't really see the boom arm so much but it's it's on an arm so it's desk mounted um, but I really want to get a shock mount for it so that when I do things like this it doesn't transfer to the microphone as much and the full heart sleeps again so there was a heart container there that's okay definitely not my worst time it, it's all randomizer but definitely not my fastest either Mm. Producer Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah, um, it's definitely possible that that can happen to you. Any game that I can easily turn the Oh, yeah, you, uh, hold on. The, any, any game that you can turn the back, I turn, I can turn the background music off for, I do when I stream. I mean, if it's, yeah, I don't know. It Honestly, unless they say that it's not copyrighted, it is. Now, whether or not you'll get a strike, who can say? But, um... Like, if it's actual game music, you could get a strike. If it's um, music that, like, if it's covers of Nintendo songs that other people have played, then they're the ones that get to choose whether they could strike you for copyright or not. But what really gets people is when they play, like, popular actual music. Um, those kinds of things at people but I use uh, a music service that lets me play music and like sometimes I'll um, sometimes I'll turn it on when I'm like actually playing a game other times I only use it during my intro like because my I have that loading screen that I pop up while I wait for myself to be totally ready to go um, so I'll use it some for that 
First sword was at 28 minutes. Pegasus boots 232. Oof. Mirror at 117. No boss kills, swordless. Yeah, see, like half the half the bosses I killed I had the gold sword for because like I couldn't get arrows. One death, but it was intentional. Oh, hold on. I had 185 collected. It was a good run. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I. I don't know. I I have a pretty good service that I'm using already, like I said. And so um, I'm not really worried about it. I'm not going to get copyrighted striked for it. I know that. And a lot of the music is pretty good. Oh. Well, um, I think I'm going to get ready to go pass out because here in about six hours, I need to get up because pg and &E is turning off the power to do wildfire prevention stuff. And I will have to be awake because my sleep apnea machine does not work when the power's out. Um, plus it'll freak my kid out when, the, out when they turn off the power because he'll be up before then anyway and be watching TV in bed with me. So, um, yeah so i think i'm gonna go pass out but for those of you that are watching this live with me or who uh or who are watching this later on a vod thanks for watching and i'll be doing another one of these here in a few days i'm actually thinking about doing a overnight stream i can't do a 24-hour stream my life is too complicated for that but i might do a like stream that i start at 8 p.m. and go like to 8 a.m. at some point um kind of need to plan that out so hopefully it happens here pretty soon and uh have a great night